18 month long investigation, the National Rifle Association facing a lawsuit centered on lavish spending by the head of the organization. Others say it rigs the political, or I should say politics right before the election. KDK's Mayo Owens breaks down this lawsuit. We are seeking an order to dissolve the NRA in its entirety. I think the NRA should move to Texas and lead a very good and beautiful life. Now, Neil, you just heard from both President Trump and the New York Attorney General after she filed a lawsuit alleging high-ranking executives misused millions of dollars. Now, the lawsuit charges the NRA as a whole, claiming executives funneled donation money into their own pockets, including spending millions of dollars on lavish personal travel, lucrative consulting contracts, and luxury club memberships. Now, the NRA is one of the most powerful organizations in the country, with more than five million members and here in East Texas gun shop owners say they are not surprised by the lawsuit but are confident the organization will be around to fight for their second amendment rights. The NRA is pretty much still at the forefront and basically represents uh, the interest of not only the gun business but the people who uh, pursue the right of the second amendment. Now, the NRA released this statement calling this legal action a political, baseless, premeditated attack on our organization and the Second Amendment freedoms it fights to defend. We not only will not shrink from this fight, we will confront it and prevail. Now, the NRA has since filed a lawsuit of their own suing Attorney General Letitia James. The organization stating they will confront this and prevail. Reporting live in studio, my own KTK News. Tensions